All right, guys, we're back. Been kind of a productive weekend. As you can see, we got the cab off. We did load the truck up, took it over to the other shop, used a hot pressure washer, bathed it up real good. So now we can start descaling and wire wheeling and cleaning and get that done. Um, we took off all the old uh, fuel stuff that was right here. They have like the evaporator and the emissions. So that's gonna get a nice flat plate across there. That's where the air tank's gonna go. Um, everything else is gonna get cleaned up, wire wheeled, descaled. Uh, frame's actually really clean. You know, it's really not bad at all. Got kind of lucky on this truck. All the lines are nice. Uh, we did all the brakes and we took it apart before. Battery tray, we took the cover off. Uh, we're gonna put two 31 series marine batteries in here. Um, instead of that old side post that was in here. Get everything painted and start uh, putting this thing together. Um, we were able to give it a nice bath, which was good because it was dirty. Uh, we're building the cart for the cab tonight to set the cab on and roll it forward out of the way. Um, so we are making progress. Transmission, we got the whole front of it scraped off and clean, ready for a new gasket to bolt that bell housing on. The motor, we made some pretty good progress on. We got the head on, the new gasket in, the studs in, all the valves ran, the rockers back in, uh, the new injectors in it. Um, so we're ready now to uh, pull the old injection pump off, put the new billet tappet cover on, pressure wash the whole motor, get it all painted. Um, that's our next step here. So we can bolt this thing together and start sliding it in the truck and bolting it together. We did make some marks on the chassis, kind of uh, where the cab sat, you know, 61 inches from the front is where the uh, cab starts. So we can, uh, at least get a couple of good ideas and some good measurements of, you know, what goes where and all that stuff, at least, at least so we know where it sits. So we're getting there. The cab's in real nice shape. We're going to get it on a cart. You know, there's no rust on this thing anywhere. So we are going to get the bottom all degreased. I mean, it's in super nice shape. Get the bottom all degreased, um, sanded down and we'll, we'll spray some, uh, some nice rust white paint or something on it and put some sound deadening underneath there. And it's really easy to work on when it's all apart like this, you know, it makes stuff real easy, but we're getting there. I mean, we're, we're starting to make some headway. Like I said, it's only been a couple of days of work on it. So, um, you know, hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have the motor and trans all buttoned up together, painted and as in a unit. And then maybe next weekend we can start uh, getting everything test fitted and bolted in and drilled in if uh we're waiting for a couple other parts from up on the north side of the border bell housing and some stuff um so we'll see uh, but we're we're getting there we're making progress so we'll keep you updated we got some more parts to put on over here some more stuff in boxes and you know we'll continue to build dynamat the floor start figuring out where the shifter's gonna go get the air seats figured out we got all the brackets and stuff there so um, that's the weekend update. It's been kind of busy. Cab kind of was a little sketchy coming off, but it's off. Frame cleaned up nice. Um, we're gonna run all new battery cables. We got the old ones out. Uh, they came out in a real nice harness. Um, so we're gonna kind of mock that up and make some new ones. The engine harness and the uh, all that stuff is in here. Tomorrow we're gonna lay it all out, blow the diagram up, cut all the loom off of it and go through it and deep pin what we don't need. So we should have that done hopefully tomorrow. Um, we're gonna keep going. 10 hour days all week till we can get this thing uh, going. I'm, I'm, like I said, I really need this thing back on the road at the end of March. That's the new dash, wheels polished, everything done and ready, ready for the summer. Um, I wanna get it all done right now. I do have a Kelderman front air ride that's gonna go on. We're gonna tackle that, it's super easy. These uh, leaf springs come off, they get cut right behind there. The front parts stay on, airbags go back here. It's half a day installation. It's, it's super easy to do, especially when it's a part like this. So we're gonna get that done, get it all plumbed in with the air and send her on her way. All right guys, have a good weekend. We'll keep you updated.